So we're here today with Jeanette, and we're gonna take a look at her pop-up camper. And Jeanette uh, likes to be off camera a little bit. She's a little private, and, and we all understand that, so that's why you won't get to see too much of her. So Jeanette, can you tell us a little bit about your pop-up camper? So my pop-up camper is a 2000 uh, four-wheel pop-up, and it's a Ranger. And the Ranger is actually, uh, th this model is no longer produced by four-wheel pop-up camper. Um, it will base, they say it will sleep four, I think it sleeps three comfortably. It has a queen size bed and a single bed inside. Uh, there's a small kitchen with a ice refrigerator, there's a two burner stove, a sink, um, and lots of um, under the seating storage. Okay, and what about your rack in the back? What kind of rack is that? Um, the, the rack in my back is relatively new. It's called the Stowaway 2. And the reason why they call it a Stowaway 2 is because now it actually swings out to a 90 degree angle. And, uh, and it'll hold up to four, excuse me, 500 pounds of gear, which I don't have anywhere near that. Wow. Um, but it is very sturdy. And, um, and so, yeah, and so, uh, you know, I used to have 10 years of climbing over a permanent um, carrier and I'd get scratched, bruises, and now it's wonderful just being able to open it up like a door itself and step right into my camper. All right, so we're gonna take a look inside and um, you wanna tell them that you, what else is going on with this? Oh, well this is kind of the farewell voyage on my Ranger. I've owned it for 11 years. I've had many years of happy wandering in it. Looks like brand new. And, exactly. And, uh, and so um, tomorrow I am actually trading it in for an R-Pod trailer. So my Ranger and I will be parting ways tomorrow. <laughs> sniffle, sniffle. Yeah. And I guess you're gonna um, sell this, uh, what do you call it again, the slide out rack? Oh, the stowaway the two. The stowaway two, and we're gonna put it on Craigslist today for sale, so if anybody's interested here in Cottonwood, uh, it'll be there for sale. So, all right, that's about it for now. We're gonna, um, we're gonna um, stop this, and then we'll, we'll go inside and look at the inside. A, a shot of the stowaway rack, the cargo carrier. You know, there's the name. And we're going to show you what it looks like opened again. Open. It's just a simple pin uh, that you pull here, this little orange handle, and it slides right out. So it's pretty cool. So, all right. So uh, let's go inside. Try to, it's kind of a low door to get up in here. And I'm tall, so I hope the lighting's okay. It's really nice inside. So what do you think, Janelle? Huh? Jeanette. Um... Can you tell us more about the inside? Uh, so the inside, um, as you can see, I've kind of put customized myself. The side panels that um, pop up, the three That's feet, nice. are actually a heavy duty kind of a vinyl. And so that can get kind of cold, depending upon what climate you're in. So the four wheel does sell what's called an Arctic pack, but it was you know, very drab, very ugly, and I'm a woman and I like to stylize. So I did kind of create my own Arctic pack using, um, I'm a beach person, so I kind of use the beach thing. Um, it does have quite a bit of storage. Like I said, um, all of the bench seats flip up and you can store things underneath. Um, there's a small table that you could actually set up in here. Um, this is kind of a unique thing. This is how it makes into a single bed down below, is that the back to the, the sofa literally flips over. It's kind of hard to do it because I don't want to cut Terry off at the knees. But that's how it becomes a single bed. Oh, it rolls out, I see. It rolls out and over. Oh, it makes a nice long bed. And it makes into a nice, almost So if, if there's two of you, yeah. four of you. Like I said, I mean, if you're, if you're very friendly, you can, I snuggle with my dog um, when I want to stealth park somewhere. Let me slide back here and then we can move it down all the way. 
So that goes down. There's blankets, I think, stopping it from sliding down, but that's fine. Cool. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I cut you off. And then it just flips. Like I said, I, uh, it can store, I store a lot of pillows. It kind of insulates the windows because I don't necessarily like curtains. Um, they just seem to catch dust. Um, but there's a ton of storage in here. Um, uh, uh, again, I'll, uh, can you stop it and I'll pull out the bed. It's meant to flat, be flat from front to back. Although I'm short enough that I sleep from side to side, and that's why I don't pull it out full way to a queen. But if, um, again, for two large adults, you could easily it makes out into a queen size bed. Pretty cool, and it has a little vent here for for air, um, but no escape. Fantastic fan as such, right? No fantastic. Never, never had a fantastic fan. I actually uh, had an unusual, I had a raccoon when I was camping and uh, that's why I, you don't see any uh, screening material is I never really fully reper repaired it when a raccoon trying to get, tried to he tore break up your in screen, through huh? my vent. Oh no. Yeah, they ripped, he literally ripped the top vent off. Little, so I did have, I replaced that obviously. The little rascal. But yeah, but I, but a little raccoon tried to get in through my... So what is that bit up in the front for? There's like a piece coming forward? Oh, so again, um, that's the, the, the way that this pop-up works is out of this hinge system. So you see like two pieces of board that um, when you go to bring it in the down position, you naturally, you close up all the windows and it has these um, elastic cords that pull in the side material. Mm -hmm. And so you unsnap where you see the black strap, you unsnap that and you just lay it oh, down. Oh, and it, it folds and, down. And the ceiling drops. And mm -hmm. it does the same thing at both ends. It has that same hinged system. Okay, like an expanding box on the top. Exactly, exactly. Okay, very interesting. Um, All right. Just, why don't I quickly, it's easy to bring it down. Oh, she's going to show you how you bring it down. Oh, too bad, because you're, 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 you're fine now. And so see, it, it literally starts to collapse down on it onto itself. And you do that at both ends. And then it easily just pushes back up. Very nice. Nothing to go wrong, not a lot of, of springs and cables and Nothing like cl that. clamps. And, and you just snap it back into place and you're up. And you have a little window you can reach into the front too, don't you? I do have a, I had a split, I, with my camper I put in a split window in, into it. Okay. Um, if in my younger days maybe I could get in through there, <laughs> but now not so not so much now it's a pass through for my dog for your dog yeah a little two burner stove and it has an ice box as well and looks like you have a, a secondary refrigerator there don't you yes is that open it does it's it's hard to open pop there you go That's there's a just a quick good. look she's got it stocked full of goodies it won't stay open too long to use up her cold okay well i think that's about it we're just doing a quick video of it so that's all for now, folks. A little bit of footage of JJ in here. Hello, JJ. How are you? Hello. Hello. Can you dance? Can you dance? Come on. Oh, I don't have any food. Dan can you dance? Oh, I know it. Just going over here. No, can you dance for Terry? There we go. Oh, look at that. We dance for Terry. <laughs> yeah, good job, girlfriend more of a shot of the side of this uh, four-wheel pop-up camper from Ranger and uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea what it looks like so we finish up the video here okay folks have a good time have a good day and until the next video we're out of here